hello hi school is here welcome to yet another video thank you so much for clicking my name is Jennifer Samoa and I am here today to talk about your first week in senior high school how it's going to be like and what you are supposed to do so let's get right into today's video firstly your first day okay in senior high school it might be a bit confusing because you don't know what to do you don't know what's going to happen you don't know where to go and you are just everyone is just doing going up and down me when i go to senior high school i have a i have a full video on my um experience in senior high school on my main channel jennifer summer but i'll see if it, i can re-upload it here just in case you do not or try and see if i can link it so you watch it my senior high school experience is very funny my first day was so funny i was so confused because i took a suitcase instead of a, a trunk not because I didn't see in the prospect or so. A cousin of mine told me I can take a suitcase because she was there, but not knowing because she's a senior, that's why she had a suitcase. And even taking a suitcase would not have helped her. And Charlie, it was so many things. So it was so confused and it's normal. It's your first day, you'll be confused. So don't worry. Just listen to instructions. Whatever they told you to do, just do it. They say go here, go here, they say do this, do this and you'll be fine also please when you are going to school like you're reporting to the boarding house make sure that you take extra money let your parents take enough money because sometimes there are house bills you need to pay bta house bca bills and some crazy things when i was going to senior high school they didn't tell us that the boarding house will be paying house bills so if my money didn't my mom was just holding money but if she didn't take enough money on kayawa now they asked her to pay it was house bill, PTA house bill, some plenty bills to be. Do you get it? So please let your parents hold enough money that they can pay anything they are being asked to. You might never know you are going to the school first, and the house bills they are different from the school bills. So I don't know if now people still pay house bills because of the free SHS, but just hold enough money just in case you need to pay for anything extra. Then you do that. Also. Some schools have grace period when you go to the school. So maybe the first week you're in the school is grace period. So the seniors will not send you, they will not let you do anything. You have people fetching your water for you. In actual motor school, we have grace period. But I remember you fetch your water for your head, you'll be so you'll be so excited. You think that's how it is true. Hmm. They just want to let you get used to the system. Fetch water for you. They will not punish you, they will not bully you or anything. Then you'll be using it to adapt to the system. But don't let it get into your head. So usually your first week is going to be orientation to teach you about the school, the rules, the things to do, not to do, school anthems, school song, school hymns, a lot of things. And that's when sometimes they'll give you a class combinations like general arts. If you're going to do economics, um elective math and geography, or you're going to do CRS, like those kind of combinations, and even with science, whether you're going to do biology, pure science, biology, physics chemistry, electrical math, or you are going to do maybe geography, chemistry, you know, all these combinations. So orientation is very important because there are some things you should be taught at orientation that you never hear about it to you leave the school. So most of the time, the first week of your school, you're going to have orientation. And also be ready that seniors can call you and tell you to introduce yourself. They will ask you, oh, what's your name? What school are you from? And they will ask you dance or they just want to know you and they'll ask you what the favorite thing you do or your hobbies and all that because they want to know the kind of person you are and sometimes you're doing these things so that you can know the things that you do in case you're going to do that like you're going to have the news you know there's some people who dance there's some people who food there are people who do a lot of things you just want to know your talents so that they'll know where to put you at don't be offended you they ask you to dance dance if you can't dance just do what you can do and just go your way so those things too would happen also when they are doing this sometimes they want to look out for who they will pick at as school daughters or school sons and all of that we want to see the db ones among them who brought a lot of things yeah they can also be starting them or sometimes genuinely just want to know you and then they will just like you to be their school daughters then be careful of who you pick at your school mother it's very very important i'm going to drop a video and talk about how to pick a school mother so this is very very important just know who you're going to allow to be your school mother no, so it's normal that in your first week you might not be able to fall asleep because you're in a new environment and it's very it's normal. So me like this when I went to senior high school, my first week I couldn't sleep because bank bed, top bed. I've not slept on top bed before. I was afraid I was going to fall down. So I was just like stiff like this on the bed. 
<laughs> for like one week I couldn't sleep. So it's normal. So when you go to school you can't sleep. There's no anything. It's just because it's a change in the environment. Maybe you have a very big bed at home and I as even as I'm slim baby. So your body is not yet used to it, so take it like that. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like I mean if you're not subscribed to this video, what are you waiting for? If you don't subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified anytime I drop a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.